Greetings everyone, the Goods are Night here today. Kind of uh, going over, I got some uh, new stuff coming in. Actually, well, it came in today actually, so I'm very excited about all that. I kind of want to uh, do a quick little preview of it all before I do official reviews. And the first one is to address the problem I have with my one point. So, as you know, one point's great, easy solder transition and all that good stuff. And of course, it has the weakness of flailing around when left free. So, as you may have noticed here already, to remedy said issue, gun goes left, I reach back here, pull out this bungee tab, and click, and I'm free. It's a, uh, who makes it, like 515? I have to double check, like I told you, this is all new, so I'm pretty excited. But that holds my rifle in place. I can move my knees, climb a ladder, draw a handgun, though the best part is, I don't really use a handgun often, but being able to actually draw it, I can move freely without fear of the rifle gain out of control or anything. And let's say a target outside the radius of 50 meters. Handgun becomes useless, pulls to that, reach in here, click button, free, bang bang. Rounds on target. So, pretty phenomenal right there. Now, additionally, I have finally got the drop flex adapter on the uh, Safari Land holster. So it's down low out of the way of the eye pack and easily accessible. And there's stuff all in the way and it's gonna take some getting used to. But it is nifty and unlike my other holster, it'll come up when I move my knee. It won't hang down or get in the way of anything. And yeah, I could, I could squat, I can move here, go there, move left, sling the rifle, and right, get in there, there we go. And yeah, actually, I'm down here on one knee. Let me, I'm not proposing to you, everyone. I'm sorry, I'm taken. I'm down here on one knee, and the rifle does not put the muzzle in the dirt. So I can still operate effectively from a crouched position. And free of rifle, rounds on target. So, pretty cool. Now, oh, I already got the camera down. And the last thing is this dump pouch. So, this dump pouch is made by 511. And it's actually designed to sort of just flow right through this belt and stays in place. Now, pretty simple, actually really simple. Throw mags in there and then you can close it. It hangs out pretty open, but it is a large, what's miniaturized dump pouch. If I can spray it, ah! Like I said, new gear. It's gonna take a bit of getting used to, but basically, it's small, it's out of the way. I can throw mags in there pretty efficiently like so and it all folds up and disappears so when you don't need it it's incredibly out of the way so that's just uh, some new gear I got as of late I'm pretty excited about it it's fun and it gives me a lot more options so I can actually pretty much do everything that I would need to do in a more sort of a Special Forces sort of sense, a bit more freedom on the weapon, no two-point or three-point sling. Can use a one-point, I can secure the one-point in case I have to climb buildings, jump over things, uh, repel, jump out of planes. Stuff I'm probably, hopefully, won't have to do. But I do now have the gear together to have the option to do so. All I'm waiting on now is uh, one more shipment and that should be all the gear I'll be needing for quite some time. Play carry is still a little, yeah. It's hot and it's heavy. I'll probably, I don't know, I might swap out into dummy place just for airsoft. It goes, it's constantly a struggle between the realism, and then of course there's the fun aspect, and then there's the, hey, I kind of want to win today. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Just a little quick gear. I'll do you official reviews here in the next few days. And I hope everyone stays chill. Cheers. Take care out there, everyone.